After years of difficult miscarriages, one Nashville family is giving thanks today for their baby boy. They're also giving thanks for the new technology that helped them get and stay pregnant with him. News Channel 5's Rebecca Schleicher shows us their story and how next-gen sequencing works. It's a fast-growing way that couples struggling to get pregnant are now able to carry to term. And it's happening right here in Nashville. For the Beards, the holiday season brings a lot of memories. Some of them... It was brutal, and it was a big test of our, for our relationship. ...can be painful. So I was pregnant five times and lost all five of those pregnancies. They'd been trying for years. They didn't know what was wrong. And finally... Dr. Bowling Green had suggested you need to go to their team. They visited the Nashville Fertility Center, one of the growing number of clinics genetically testing embryos. We're just trying to find that most healthy embryo to transfer back and give them that best chance of getting pregnant. Doctors there examine computer analyzed reports to find embryos with the normal number of chromosomes. They say more than half of all embryos are abnormal. These are the two that are completely normal. The abnormality rate goes up as the mother ages or if the parents carry different genetic disorders. Most embryos that have abnormalities are not going to implant and the ones that do implant most of those miscarries. With the data, they can choose the healthy embryos only to put back into the mother through in vitro. The testing doesn't cover appearance or any specific traits of the baby other than gender. For the beards? They were able to fertilize eight or nine. Only one of those was a healthy embryo. That one embryo <laughs> eventually became their son, Avit. He was born during the holidays. Feeling really appreciative of just everything. Now, as he's about to turn one, Emily and Chuck are giving thanks. This year has been a bit challenging, and he is the bright light every day when I wake up and look at him. Grateful for the one they waited for, and the doctors. Emily was like, praise God for making doctors. The doctors <laughs> you know. Who helped the family find him? Rebecca Schleicher, News Channel 5. He is so cute. The genetic testing usually costs between four and five thousand dollars in addition to the in vitro fertilization. Doctors say in vitro is not right for everyone. There are a lot of less invasive ways to get pregnant that may be better for your family situation. You should consult your OBGYN or fertility doctor for your options.